Wait, what? Hey guys, trying to get this ready. Got a little bit of a delay. They will there we have go. that. And why am I sideways? Because. Hi guys, how y'all doing? I slowly start banging my head into this table. <laughs> Seriously, I see it over here, and I'm like, <laughs> "It happened. It's a, it's a, li it's a delay. It takes time for your phone to send it out to somebody who's watching it." Okay, I have that, but it's come here. Oh, it says it was trying to reconnect. What the ever? Mouth. What is that? There! There you go. Nope. Still sideways. It was right ways for a second. Oh, now it's you. <laughs> is it fixed? Nope. No. Good. You How about now? That's you. And it's still sideways. You. You? What is it me? It's me. And I'm sideways. Back to you. Oh. Well, give it a second. Technology is wonderful. Oh, oh no, there it went. It corrected, but it's still on you. Yeah. Screw it. Oh, can we turn it around? This is my life, not yours. There Thank we you. go. Okay, Matthew. I'm going. She doesn't understand that delays are. Ethan? And <laughs> hmm. The daughter might have been on to something. And it affects it, it makes it jiggle. Stop. <clears throat> Seriously. Hi. Okay, um, our best bet is to do this. Do you not trust what I say? Uh, you're 17. Almost 18. Kill me later. I will because this isn't <coughs> right. Choose this. Me 
Betty on. There's what? Say, say hi to Hannah. Me? Say hi to Hannah. Hi, Hannah. You mean Hannah Banana? Bookers taste like nuts? Ethan! It's a funny story! I don't even think she remembers that. Anyways. Waiting for a few more people to get on, I guess. She says, hey, Aunt Misty. Hey, sweetie. I can't see comments. I see. Forget me. Cough, cough. Yeah, Evan's here. He does the video work. You realize I don't... He does a better job of it for the church. You realize I don't sound like the, the way I used to since she last saw me. You're right, seriousness. <coughs> He's fixing to get his tail in whooped. Hi, hello. Okay, so I was hopping on. I got the website up. It's all done. What in the world? Get it off my lower body. on to show I got the website up it's up going it's awesome and um, I've got all the stick ponies all the felt food and all the felt paper dolls and then sorry something just attacked me again I was gonna show some of the recent ones that I've gotten put up there and that you can go and order and I was going to show some of the ones I've got in the works for the week. So, I guess I'll start with the ones I've got in the works for the week. Giraffe. I have a pretty giraffe going to happen. Y'all see that I hand draw my patterns on directly on the fabric. Orange dragon. I also made some carrots, stick pony food out of this one. See, it's all those buddies. And then this one kind of matches that one. Well, sort of. It's from the same quilting line. This one's going to be another dragon. I sold completely out of dragons last year. You're welcome. And then this one's kind of wild. I don't know why it just spoke to me and said it needed to be a dragon. You may well say. I kind of like it. It's supposed to be like leopard print or cheetah print in wild colors, but it looks like dragon scales to me. So those are the dragons. I also have a heifer in the make, but I couldn't find my fabric earlier when I was working. Um, it's on my desk somewhere. And uh, so if anybody wants one of these with like, a child's name on it, you could holler and I can put a child, embroider a child's name on the neck of any stick pony I do, and I'm happy to do that. Like Anakin? Cough, cough. Anakin will get his own stick pony later. Which, Hannah, I do have something for Anakin. I just, right at the time I got it made and was about to send it off, that's when all the COVID hit, and I started making masks, and I was busy with that, and it's sitting on my sewing table and needs to come home. It needs to be sent to your home. I have your address. I got your mom send it to me. I just forgot. That's not creepy. What? I know where you live. She's my niece. She's my cousin. 
<laughs> oh wait, I shouldn't do that if I'm trying to sell stick photos because that's what every mom says that your kids are gonna do with it. <laughs> Bad example. Don't do what I did, kids. Don't 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 try this at home. We are trained professionals. Okay, first one I'm gonna show that was already made. This is a mossy oak stick pony. Uh deer. He has the actual mossy oak breakup pattern. And he's got antlers, and when the little ones ride him, his antlers go floppy, 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 floppy. He's been to a couple of shows, so he has my ear tags. But his antlers go floppy, floppy, floppy. I love that. I like to make um, things with antlers and horns. I like to make them where their ear, they go floppy, floppy. Because to me, that would be like a little kid would love to see that. This one is one of the first ones I did this year, and I actually, it, making of him is on YouTube. Me and these are cottonwood trees still going on, guys. I wish I could, I wish I could kill them all, but you can't. Anyway, he's a dinosaur, and his, like I said, you can go watch the making of him on YouTube. How Creative Creations on YouTube. And he's pretty. I like the blue and the green together. He's got a blue eye. And look at the pattern on his, on the fabric. Show. He's a Stegomasaurus. Man toy. You know, nobody knows as much about dinosaurs as three-year-old little boy. And they will tell you every fact they know. This is the one I finished today. I hadn't lint rollered him yet. I still have. He'll be on the store by the end of the week. Yeah. He will be on the store. You might want to put that link down there, Ethan. He is Amino Dragon. Now he's pretty dragon and he's all shimmery. Let's see if you can, can you tell that he's shimmery? He has metallic silver in between his blues. And I just thought he was pretty. I did his eyes to match his skin with blues and greens and silvers. And he will be up by the end of the week. I'll probably work on this later tonight or tomorrow getting him listed. Which y'all, it takes me forever to list some of these, so. See, I do, I do the easy job. I, I, I sell. Yeah, he's my marketer. And then this one, this last one is a new little pony. I've had a couple of different incarnations of this one different main colors, different pattern camo. Living in Oklahoma, I do a lot of camo. Anyways, he's got a nice maroon burgundy mane. Kind of thought it went with the maroon and the leaves. What's his inventory number? This one's inventory is SP18. Well, I think I'm gonna put all their links oh, okay. into the video. So Ethan says he's gonna put all of the links to the stick ponies in this video. In this video. All right, live. Sorry. Live, whatever. Wait, keep dead. Thank you, Hannah. I think you're talented too. Although, I'm if you're still doing T-shirts with K Creations, I'm gonna need a new T-shirt soon because. I'm no longer with Gypsy Spoonful. Uh, 
We have it marked as Mossy Oak, right? I think so. Oh, yeah. I have... Mossy Oaky and one's... I, I, I have them both. But... And Ethan wants a t-shirt to the shop, too. He goes with me a lot of times to sell. My favorite color is black. But that's not store colors. My store colors are red and aqua. I'll take red. Which, <laughs> that's something I'm taking time with this whole COVID shutdown. Shows aren't happening thing. Where at shows, I'm going to change out how I'm doing things just a little bit. I am going to, I have created some other signs. I did a sign out of letter blocks like kids would play with and it spells how creative creations um i also have some plates that i'm making into a tiered thing for felt food i just have some neat stuff going on um with my display for shows and i'm also going to change up some of my pictures how i do the pictures of the felt food I won't go back and retake pictures, but I'll take new pictures from here on in. Yeah. I'm not going backwards with them. Because after I take the pictures, I do wrap them in shrink, shrink wrap to keep them because felt picks up every little piece of lint in the world. And so I shrink wrap them so they stay nice and it shows so kids can look at it and touch it without actually touching it with grubby fingers. So, as much as I've tried, it will not let me put the link down. It's okay. So, but, I don't know what I was going to say. Okay, so, you can get put the links down. I don't know if y'all can hear him. I hate cottonwood trees. Guys, these things are the bane of my existence this time of year. They make me break out and everything else. Hannah says she still does make shirts. So. I'll get with you in a little bit about shirts. I need to sell a couple of stick ponies to pay for shirts, guys. Um, I am also making a couple, Ow. a set of three stick ponies. And I am sending them off to bless somebody. There's a YouTuber I watch a lot. And she's a real sweet lady, her and her husband. Oh, sorry, I popped my wrist. Her and her husband have a YouTube channel called Roots and Refuge. And they homestead and garden. And that's their full time thing. They're real sweet people. And I love to watch them. Great sense of humor and everything. Um, she has three kids under the age of eight, so I'm going to gift her three stick ponies and give her a link with a discount. What are you staring at? The chickens are fine. <laughs> They're trying to figure out how to get the cantaloupe off the top of their roosting box because somebody dropped it on top of their roosting box. Well, here, you, would you like to hold this while I go fix that? No. So... It's yeah. just doing it. They're acting up. They're they're fighting over the same piece of cantaloupe right over there. That's all it is. Um, our garden's doing better. Okay. Ignore the ugly bike in the way, but um, and the ball. But they, yeah. Okay. And look, a pretty yeah. flower. I noticed this morning I've got pumpkin flowers. Yeah, I noticed that the other day. You've also got a squash flower. Oh, I've got several squash flowers. Deep. But I got, I got pumpkin. I got pumpkins for Halloween. Because I'm the Wicked Witch of the West. Old family joke. I think Hannah knows it. I don't know if Hannah knows it or not.
Look off in that brush back there. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see it. It's one of the little kittens. Now we have so many outdoor cats out here. I'm not paying to get them all fixed. So we constantly have kittens outside. She doesn't. She doesn't know the Wicked Witch of the West story. You don't know the Wicked Witch of the... Ask your mom. Your friend has a sense of humor, Hannah. My mom has the greatest sense of humor in the world. When I was little, I didn't speak well. I had a really, really bad speech impediment. Did? And so... The only people that ever understood me were my sister Karen and my mama. I think Nana and Papa understood me too, but that's never been mentioned, but I'm sure. Anyways, every year for Halloween, whether I wanted to be something else or not, when I was real young, I always wanted to be, but as I got older, I didn't want to be the Wicked Witch of the West anymore. But as I was, when I was little, I always wanted to be the Wicked Witch of the West from Wizard of Oz. So, Graham would make me the costume and everything. And we lived in a small town in Texas, and everybody knew us and knew the family, and they knew it was my birthday. And everybody knew every year to ask me what I was for Halloween. Well, the speech impediment turned all my W's into B's. So I ran around town <laughs> saying I was the Wicked Witch of the West, but every one of those W's became B's. And every house asked me what I was. So, that standing joke, John says, when, if I die first, he is going to have them play Ding Dong the Witch is Dead at my funeral. I just thought of something. Your gravestone isn't going to be a gravestone. It's going to be a house. My family really loves me, guys. I promise they do. <laughs> they just have a really good sense of humor, too. It's really dark, but... <laughs> have a house and, and a tornado tornado coming out of the chimney and every year uh, on halloween somebody I will, has to bring ruby slippers and put them on there too sophie will be wearing ruby slippers at your funeral why are we talking about my funeral <clears throat> no reason You hit me with the stick pony and I'll hit you back and I'll hit you harder. I crown the stick pony lady. Yes, I am the stick pony lady. Or the most, the crazy stick pony lady. So, but that is what it is. Um, I'm also going to add a few extra, extra things into my shop. The uh, flower sack tiles that are embroidered, I think I'm going to do a few of those in the shop. I've also still got some rag dolls to take pictures of. Uh, coffee cozies that say bless, they're embroidered. I have face masks. If anybody needs face masks, um, school's coming up and a lot of schools are going to make it mandatory. Wear face, for the kids to wear face masks. Yeah, and stay six feet. I'll be able to do it in my classes because I'll be down in the basement. But, um, it's gonna be interesting. Hannah's girl should be starting schools this year. No. Can please not all start <gasps> school this year, is she? Can you see it? It's right there. Look at it. It's a fluff ball. I think it's rather crap. No. 
She's only three, yeah. I told you. It feels like forever, though. It's so cute. Sorry. Yeah. He got distracted by sport. No, no, no. It was a cat. And I learned laundry on the line that keeps showing. Yeah. You can see the beautiful shirt Hannah made. And then my underwear. a marketing class for nowadays with social media they tell you to do lives they tell you to be yourself they tell you to be a normal everyday person show you real life well that doesn't get any more <laughs> real than that there are drawers hanging on clothes on <laughs> this is what it's like having a 17 year old oh. hannah this is what happens when anakin becomes 17 i Anna bet by the time anakin turns 17, she's going to be both happy and sad at the same time. Because I believe that's your last, isn't it, baby? <laughs> Anyways. Y'all, the stick ponies that I showed today, I'm going to put a special code in. Um... The ones I showed today, I'm going to do half off what I have them listed at. If you use code Wicked Witch of the West. Drawers? No, Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> and I'll put that in as soon as I get off here. But uh, I'm going to have to go soon because I've got to make dinner. We're having tuna fish salad sandwich. There was something you wanted to tell them about. There was something that happened earlier before I went to go turn in my application. Oh my God. Mm. So, there's this event coming up, and I had to look at the dates for it. Oh, yes. Ethan's look, looking at the events on the calendar for September. And I have it all written. Out on the calendar. He's looking at it, and he's going, huh. I said, what's wrong? He goes, why is my name on September 9th? That's his birthday, y'all. He forgot his own birthday. I turned 18 this year, so I'm getting old, okay? You are not getting old. Arthritis in both knees. There's a bug on me. Yeah, but that's because you haven't been kind to yourself, just like I was when I was young. Anyways. I have a job interview tomorrow. Yep, Ethan's got a job interview tomorrow. And then the see, I'll pray that it goes good because uh, he needs to be out there making some money. And then the twenty sixth, I have to go talk to an army recruiter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Hannah, here's one for you and Matthew. Ethan's gonna go talk on the twenty sixth. He's gonna go talk to an army recruiter. His dad's Air Force. His cousin's Air Force. He's gonna go army. At least it's not a Marine. When he said he was thinking about meeting with the Marines, I asked him what his favorite flavor purple. crayon was. He said purple. I guess he likes great crayons. Mm. Now, I joke. We respect all, all branches of the military. It's just we pick on the others. Yeah, I just noticed. It looks like I have a whole lot more eye uh, makeup on than I do. All I have is a mascara and lipstick. So, of course I could do something about them. But... Hannah, you got something for wrinkles? How about acne? <laughs> Ethan wants something. I got this. It was it's for men. It's for men. It's like an acne thing for men. Skincare routine for men, 
and um, it made my acne worse. <laughs> don't do it. Army, don't do it. Wow. Although I did tell him Ouch. if he's going to go the military route, he better figure out a career that translates to civilian life. So. I want you to go take that practice as vibe. I have to check into that, Hannah, because I need something. I was using um, Perfectly Posh. Is that what it was? They're, uh, they have one called Impish Eyes, and it tightens up the bags, but it doesn't do anything about the little... And I have horrible bags under my eyes because I fall asleep around midnight, wake up around 1.30, and I don't go back to sleep until about 5.30. We actually came out with eye cream today. I saw that. So. So. But I'm going to have to get off here, and I'm going to have to go cook dinner, although I wouldn't call it cooking. I'm going to have to go mix dinner because I'm making tuna salad sandwiches, and I'll probably make up a batch of chicken salad sandwiches for tomorrow. Real quick, gotta shout a couple people out. Yeah, we have to do a shout out to the Hungry Heifer. It is a bakery coffee shop here in our hometown. We, I, I love them because they make coffee and it's so good. They make what we jokingly call Karen coffee. Not like your mama, Hannah. Like the joke Karens. The can I speak to your manager people. I love that because your mom is the exact opposite. Which Sophie has come in joking, hey, is Aunt Karen like the Karens on the internet? Nope. But, uh, yeah, Ethan likes the free fruit coffees. It's called a Frappuccino. <laughs> There's, they're good, okay? Okay, I make John coffee. I put a little bit of creamer, a little bit of sugar, and a lot of really dark coffee in it. I make Ethan coffee. I have to dig the ninja out, and I have to put coffee, and I have to put whipped cream, and I have to put uh, Milk. chocolate syrup, and <laughs> I have to put sugar in it, and ice, and I have to whip it up until it's all nice and frothy. What's the point of coffee? At that point, you're going to be on such a sugar and caffeine high at that point that you're not going to slow down. I know. Hannah and Matthew. her sister, Rebecca, both drink coffee. My sister drinks coffee now, which is weird to me because we none of us ever drink coffee. Nana drank coffee in the mornings. And Papa drank it all the time. Y'all, it could be 110 degrees outside. He's outside working in the garden, and he had a cup of hot coffee. Never quite understood it. He said it kept him cool. I don't know. It don't, uh, when it's hot outside, I want something cold. Um, yeah, I got great news. I'm coming up on my one year anniversary of quitting smoking. This one's sticking. That's next month. Although, it would have been the anniversary of VBS, but VBS is canceled. Oh, I gotta tell y'all funny. I did children's church this weekend. It's our first weekend back I did children's church. Okay, uh, continue. <laughs> our lesson was reaping what you sow. So they planted sunflower seeds. One little girl, she ate her sunflower seeds. These aren't roasted and salted like you get at the store. These are just plant them in the ground. They grow sunflower seeds. This little girl ate them. She said they taste a great. I take her at her word. But the lesson was you always reap what you sow. So you want to sow things like happiness, and love, and joy. So you can reap similar things. So today, first thing in the morning, Sophie gets up and her and her brother start going. Bleh. And I don't remember your brother and sister and you fighting like this. Matter of fact, I remember your mama saying they, and she just didn't allow it so it didn't happen. 
I don't know. Sophie wakes up in a mood like your mama used to when she was a teenager. Sophie would soon growl at you, then look at you. Sophie, wake up. <clears throat> anyway. What? She is not a morning person, no matter what time of the day you wake her up. It could be 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But as soon as she got up, her and Ethan started it. And I just got back from the church, working up at the church. Yeah. He had already gone up to the church to work and come home. She's in the mood. I looked at him. I said, is this the seed y'all want to sow for the day? And all day long, every time somebody's gotten sideways with another one, showed attitude or anything, that is the question I've asked. You know, Sophie, she's like, I don't like it when you teach children to church. Say hi to Chad. Chad? Bishop. Hey, Chad. How y'all doing? Biker Chad. Yeah, my kids call you back or Chad. Um, Hold on. I'm just gonna... Yeah. He's gonna jiggle the candle. I brought a miniature tripod out. And it doesn't sit high enough. And it shoots from an angle that just is not... You know, shooting this way is just not enough. So... Uh, Ethan's holding the camera. Hey. But I'm fixing to get off here and I'm going to go cook or mix mix dinner. Well, I got to toast the bread. I got Texas. No, I didn't. I got honey wheat. I got toast the bread. Say hi to Jane. Well, I realistically say bye to Jane because we're... I just talked about her. Anyways, hi Jane. I will see y'all later. I will, I'm going to try to do a weekly live on top of doing my YouTube and I'm going to get back to doing, making videos where y'all watch me do the process. I could have swore I saw a snake real quick. Okay, we got to go because <laughs> there's a snake in the tree. I'm fixing to kill everything in my way. Snakes. Jane says hi. Something is moving up there. Okay. I'll see y'all later. Bye. I'm done. Get everything. <laughs> Don't do snakes. What is in that tree? <laughs> okay, you can end the live. I, I don't think I want to. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Finish. No. Yeah. <laughs>